So I started in fund management back in 1990 with a firm called Ivory and Syme and went on in 1997 with three other founding partners to found the company I now work for, which is Artemis Investment Management. My investment style is very much bottom-up, stock-specific, with a deep value bias. I'm looking for companies with very depressed multiples, very depressed equity valuations, and hope to benefit from that re-rating over the next few years. The key for me in terms of constructing the portfolio for Wotan is to make sure I get those companies with the most upside in terms of the self-determination of the upside with the least amount of risk and they go into the, the top holdings and the more concentrated the list I can get, the, the happier I am. The key for us is we're very valuation driven and for us to make the decision on the sell, we have a price target that we think a business is worth. Hopefully when we make the initial investment our price target is far too conservative and we actually exceed that. But the key is to have some understanding of the value, the rating that the equity should trade on and when it hits that particular point that's when we exit the investment. We've had a couple of stocks more recently in the, in the portfolio for Witan. One is Balfour BT, which is a very famous name in construction. They went through a very, very difficult time, highly indebted, had a number of profits warnings, and a new management team that we knew of a, from another company came in and, and turned it around. It has now has net cash and is benefiting from a lot of investment in infrastructure. And secondly, we, the largest holding in the Witan fund at the moment for us is Tesco's, which again, fantastic brand name, fantastic market share, but went through some real problems over the past few years and is now being rehabilitated by the new management team. So for the markets for the next few years, I think we, we can't expect the same kind of return we've had over the past 10 years. Since the financial crisis, the stock market has grown significantly. We've all made fantastic money out of investing in the equity market. So I think given that, given valuations and given the direction of interest rates, we shouldn't expect too much upside from markets for the next couple of years. Thank you.